What happens if you find yourself in an accident and you're looking at workers' compensation? One, it can be a very overwhelming process, but then you start to see the bills are adding up. Well, let's go ahead, check back in with our friend Catherine Stone from Injury Florida Law Firm, who deals with workers' compensation and can do her best to make sure you are taken care of within the system as much as the law allows. Because, Catherine, I know there's a lot of uh, interesting situations you find yourself in, and you always get a lot of interesting questions. So, Catherine, yes. it's good to have you a part of the show. Thank you. You know, a lot of what I do on a daily basis is explaining the system to the client. Um, because the system is not fair. We've talked about that before. And so oftentimes it's just making sure that they understand the reality of the situation that they may find themselves in. And the reality oftentimes is if they are receiving biweekly workers' compensation payments, those payments are less than what they were making at their regular, if they were regularly full duty. It's unfortunate, but that's the way the law is written, and there's nothing we can do about that. Um, workers' comp is never going to pay you more than they're mandated by state statute to pay. Now, what results, though, is that we oftentimes find our clients become in financial distress because they're not earning the 100% salary that they're making. They're making either 66% or 64% of what their wages were. And that can affect a lot of people in being able to pay their monthly bills. Um, there is an option available to some clients if they qualify, and it's called an advance payment by the workers' comp system. And the statute does allow um, in certain situations about a $2,000 advance is the normal amount. Um, you're hardly ever gonna be able to go above that amount. And even then you have to qualify by completing a financial affidavit, providing copies of, of bills that are past due or are coming going to be past due with your banking records to show that you do not have enough money to be able to pay your monthly living expenses. And then once, if the carrier agrees or a judge orders them to provide that advance payment, and it's not always $2,000, sometimes the judges will order less than that. Um, but if, if it is granted or it is approved, then the carrier, if they're paying you biweekly payments, will actually reduce your payments by 20% each pay period until they've recouped that amount that they've paid you in advance. Now, if they, for whatever reason, don't take that 20% deduction in their biweekly payments, then oftentimes they will take that $2,000 out of any settlement proceeds. But we don't get to choose how they get that money back. Oftentimes clients will say, well, I can't afford to get a $2,000 advance and have my checks reduced. I want them to wait till the end of the case. Well, unfortunately, we don't, the statute says they're entitled to the 20% out of your biweekly checks. So, the statute doesn't say they get to wait until the end of your case to settle to recoup that money. And that's recently I had a conversation with a client who was, who was quite upset um, at the options available to that person, but the options are what they are in the system. Mm -hmm. And I like, too, that you say the options within the system, because that's what you're able to navigate. You're able to pay attention to those deadlines, to those time frames, and just having someone like yourself on someone else's team who's dealing with workers' compensation, we know is such a big asset. So we want to make sure, share your contact information so people can get in touch with you. And as always, Catherine, we are so thankful that you're part of the show and that you bring your wealth of knowledge to our show on a regular basis, too. Take care, okay? Thanks.